Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. It was a beautiful first day of summer out there. Just blue sky temperatures barely hitting 70 in a lot of spots and no clouds. In Lindenville, the sky is completely blue. 65 right now. Dew point of 38 means the air very dry. West wind at 9 miles per hour. Really nice evening, but when the air is dry like that and there's no clouds, it turns sort of chilly quickly. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are doing something outside tonight. 82 in Keene, 78 in Springfield, 65 right now in Saranac Lake, and 68 in Middlebury. But if we zoom out a little bit, you see these 80s down here, 83 in New York City and 83 in Scranton. Keystone State, a lot of spots in the 80s. That warmth comes in tomorrow. So it was cooler today, low 70s, but tomorrow we add about 10 degrees in a lot of spots or more. Storm Tracker is a clear scan. It'll remain that way all the way through this night. There are some uh, clouds and rain down in Ohio. This actually is the system that starts to work in for the weekend, but we still have enough space in between us and that for one more really nice day tomorrow. So not much going on tonight. 48 though, and that's in the Champlain Valley. So we are looking at some upper 30s in the colder spots. But other than that, it's very nice. And it is a beautiful finish to the work week. Unfortunately, the showers come in just in time for the weekend, but it is definitely not a washout. I do not think it rains the whole time. I'd say the second half of Saturday ends up being the wettest. So we'll take a look at future cast here and show you the sunshine going through tomorrow. Temperatures in the 80s for a lot of us. Maybe some thinner high clouds very late, but that's not a big deal. It's not going to rain at all tomorrow. Then we have Saturday mornings. There may be some sun early, but the clouds are thickening up really quick. And I think that is a sign of things to come because by Saturday, say lunchtime and beyond, there will be scattered showers out there lifting in from the south. And so it turns a little bit wetter later on. So if you really want to do something outside and you don't want to get wet, I'd say earlier is better on Saturday. And then for Sunday, it's overcast pretty much the whole day. But you see there's not much green here, so it looks decent, not very bright at all, but I don't think the coverage of the showers will be too great on Sunday. So a little bit of good news may even be able to get a day uh, at the beach or something like that out of Sunday. So here's the highs for tomorrow, 83 in Burlington, 79 in Lisbon, 79 in Plymouth and Grafton County. Across northern New York, 80 in Potsdam, 76 Plattsburgh, 80 in Ticonderoga, just a gorgeous Friday. 80 in Springfield and 71 down in Dover. So going forward, we have the showers later Saturday and then Sunday, but not the whole time. Only a couple on Sunday, a couple lingering for early Monday. Look at the warm up for next week, 80s to near 90 Tuesday and beyond. I think the hottest part of next week is at the end with some humidity mixed in. So not a perfect weekend, but it turns out OK, Steph.